Hi guys, today I have a jam-packed laundry motivation video for you. I'll be sharing with you guys how I do my laundry, my favorite products that I'm currently using, as well as a quick laundry closet tour. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I did was sorted my laundry into different piles. When I have a ton of laundry like this, it's just easier to sort it into different piles to know how many loads I'm gonna be doing. So I had a black pile, a gray pile, because I have a ton of gray clothes, um, colored clothes pile, and then towels which I sorted into smaller piles later on. Um, the first load I threw in was the blacks and grays since I didn't have a ton of them and I didn't need to do them in separate loads. I make sure not to use a ton of laundry detergent just because it's unnecessary and it actually doesn't make your clothes any cleaner. It makes things more built up and leaves more residue on your clothes. I also wash everything on cold because again, it's just unnecessary to use hot water, especially if I'm using laundry sanitizer. I always have to check my water drain because sometimes it gets clogged. Um, so that was an issue I had at the beginning when I moved in and I finally figured out I have to change out that every couple of weeks. So I always check that. These are the two detergents I use right now. The Puracy Natural Laundry Detergent doesn't have any scent. So if I want a scent, I will use the Priscilla Pro Clean, but for the most part, I use the Puracy Natural Detergent. Occasionally, I'll use my Lysol laundry sanitizer, and then in the dryer, I'll use my dryer balls as well as one or two dryer sheets. Now a little quick tour of my little laundry closet. These bins are from the container store, and in the first one, it says dish towels, but it really has all my microfiber towels. The second one says dryer sheets, and like it says, it has dryer sheets in there. And then the third one has washing powder, and that's all my non-liquid laundry detergent. I prefer liquid, but I always have these on hand just in case. Up top, I keep all of my extra laundry detergent. I used to be an extreme couponer, so I have a massive amount of laundry detergent and I'm not too picky so whenever I run out I'll just pick from here and then on the other side I have all my tissue and some cleaning products to use I use to clean my bathroom. Now before I get into folding I like to take the drawers out of this dresser I got from Amazon. It's so nice that the drawers just pull out because I like to fold the clothes downstairs so I'll take out all the drawers I need and bring them downstairs and start folding clothes and here's my cat because she always just has to be in my business. So I had a load that was already dry so I took that out and started folding it and then I will go in and switch the laundry after this and start another load. Baby, it's for something real. But the truth that After I'm done folding each load of laundry, I like to take it upstairs and put it in the correct spot just so it's not a huge pile of clothes I need to put away at the end of the day and this just makes it easier and it doesn't take me a lot of time. Um, so I put all my clothes in my dresser and then hang up anything that obviously needs to be hung up. I also um, this day decided to wash my sheets. So I wash my sheets and then I will just put on a different pair of sheets that I already have that are clean. So I took off the black sheets and just put on these gray sheets and then when the black sheets are clean, I will just put those um, away and use those next time. Again, here's my cat, always just has to be where I am, you know, typical cat business, but yep. Did my bed, put my pillowcases on, and then I got back to switching out some more laundry and folding the next load.
If you guys use Lysol laundry sanitizer or any laundry sanitizer, definitely make sure to read the directions and the labels. Um, I had a top loading machine before this one at my apartment and it says to put it in the rinse cycle, not just put it in at the beginning. But when you have a front loading machine, you're supposed to put it in the drawer and let it run the whole cycle if that makes any sense so definitely read the labels because there's different ways to be putting it in to make sure it actually sanitizes your clothes and I didn't know that so I checked the label and made sure that I'm actually using it properly or else it kind of defeats the purpose So like I said earlier, I like to bring my drawers down for my dresser to make it easier to sort things and I like to fold my clothes downstairs. This time I did a whole load full of all of my delicates. I don't always do that. So um, just bringing my dresser drawers down makes it easier if I'm doing multiple loads to just, you know, fold all the stuff and put it away. And then I will just take it upstairs after I'm done and just put them back where they belong. So I love this dresser. I will have it linked down below if you guys are in the market. It was like $70 and it has some different colors. It is fabric bins, but it is super sturdy and the top is like wood. So it's not just like a whole bunch of flimsy material. So definitely check it out. Don't you stop. Guess tonight, it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. The last load of laundry that I washed and folded on this day was my microfiber cloths. Make sure if you have microfiber cloths that you are washing them in their own separate lo load, uh, like a uh, low wash with low heat to dry it, um, or else they will get ruined. So definitely read the labels on your cloths to see what the direction said. Um, but I just folded them and put them away. So that's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week for another video.